The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the Magical Monday, the November 8th edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead, send me an email. Send it to Steve at TFNN.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show right now. Most of the U.S. indices trade to the upside. The only one that is not is the NASDAQ 100 off three points out here. The Dow's up 31. The S&P's up one point. The Russell's up 10. Semi's up 59. Tranny's 35. You've got the spot volatilics up as well. It's uh, below its 50-day exponential moving average, but just by a, a hair out here. Price is trading at 17.59. We'll take a look at that during the show. The XAU up about a buck. Uh, gold is up eight dollars. Silver's up 32 cents. Lead the charge. Dollar-wise, the upside. You've got MicroStrategy, 64 bucks or eight percent. Shopify, two percent or 30 bucks. Mon God, up 23 bucks or four percent. Palo Alto Networks up nearly five percent or 22 bucks. Mercado Libre, a little over one percent or 22 bucks to the upside. To the downside, it's Tesla, dollar. Wise. That's 35 bucks, nearly 3%. Uh, BGNE, I won't even pronounce that name, down 22 bucks. Samuel Adams, Boston Beer, down 15 or 3%. 51 jobs is uh, not got 51 jobs. They're down 20% today or 13 bucks. And C Limited is off $11 or 3%. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. No request in the uh, system yet. Let's just go take a look at short term charts. What to uh, take a uh, uh, just to see what the markets are communicating to us. We'll go take a look at the 30-minute time frame charts for the four equity future contracts out here. As we take a look at the ES Mini, the ES Mini uh, negated its TD9 count uh, top this morning, and price ran all the way back. Let's just expand the chart back towards Friday's high. Didn't take out Friday's high, certainly tested Friday's high. Since then, gave up price. Uh, I don't really have, I, I suppose there's an A to B equals CD pattern. Here's what we know right now, and that's this. Price is trading below the bottom of its current profile, 30-minute profile, has for the last two hours. That suggests to me that price is going to go target 46.79, the TD9 breakout area. That is its message. Lower price, not higher price in the short term. Inside the NQ, the NQ is consolidating in between TD9 breakout support, that would be at 16,298, and TD9 breakdown resistance, 16,378. No idea which side will be broken. And with price trading with inside its profile, it's not providing us with a signal either. So right now inside the NQ, just a consolidation. What does that mean? That means, hey, in order for the ES Mini to really head south, you probably have, the NQ, have to have the NQ doing that as well. And if the NQ is not, it's just consolidating sideways, not necessarily a big, gigantic push inside the S&P to the downside. Inside the Dow, it's got a clear message. That clear message was Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top. Price is below the bottom of its profiles. That is suggesting they move back to 36, 170, and maybe it will form a TD9 count pattern as it does that. But that is its target. The Russell 2000 also has a Rhodes Momentum Indicator Top, but it found support at 24.42. That is its TD9 breakout support level. So watch 24.42 in the ES, 36.170 in the Dow, 16,298.50 in the NQ, 
at 46.79 inside the ES Mini. Those are the support levels on a continued move to the downside. It's the NQ that is the one that is not participating, and that is muy importante. I've got Apple up on my uh, screen here. Just a quick peek. Oh, let me just do this. Uh, let me stop sharing this. This is the main screen. Maybe you saw that at the beginning, but we'll just go turn to it, and I'll just simply expand the Apple chart. So we take a look at Apple. What is Apple doing? Well, Apple is running, it's trading right in between rising trend line support and descending trend line resistance and prices above the top of its daily profile. So its signal here is neutral or bullish. Uh, it's certainly not bearish out there, but you can see prices trading into the cone of silence. At some point in time, that cone will be broken. Whether it's to the upside or the downside, I don't know, but that will certainly help to paint the price for the NQ. With Apple being the number one holding inside the NDX 100, again, its signal right now is pretty much uh, muted out here. It's certainly not bearish. But uh, it's hard to make it uh, completely uh, bullish uh, as well. I guess that really speaks to that consolidation pattern that we looked at inside of the 30-minute uh, time frame chart. Let's go look at the daily time frame charts. What are they communicating to you and I? So as we switch over to these in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see the ES Mini. Friday was day number eight of a TD9 count. We know that tops can form on bars 8, 9, or the bar following. And you have to first get a bar 9 completion. It looks like we will get that today both for the NQ and for the uh, ES Mini. And it looks like the YM, the Dow Equity Future Contract, will generate bar number 8 today. It's a higher high. So you've got topping signals in those three um, equity future contracts. The pattern will not complete until we get to the bar following bar number 9. For the ES and the NQ, that is tomorrow. You can make a higher high tomorrow and uh, still maintain that pattern. You don't have to make a higher high. When a pattern does take hold, should the TD9 counts take hold, the first move should be back to those oscillator and change line levels. Inside the ES Mini, that's currently printed at 46.35. Inside the NQ, that's currently printed at 16.010. And in, in the YM, the Dow Equity Future Contract, 35.945. Now, those numbers are not going to be the exact numbers on any kind of a pullback. Should we get some kind of a pullback? The only reason I didn't mention the Russell 2000, the Russell does not have the same patterns. It does not have the same TD9 count patterns. What the Russell 2000 would have would be some type of sell the D point. A pattern out here. But in order for that to occur, you need to see some type of bearish reversal candle. We certainly do not have that as we speak right now. So again, in summary, short-term time frame charts, the ES, the Dow, the Russell 2000, they kind of suggest you could easily move lower. The NQ is saying, I don't have that signal here. I just prefer my sideways movement. Um, and so I wish I had more than that. If we do get a TD9 count pattern that takes hold by Wednesday, we should see price pull back and test those oscillator and change line levels. What's below those? Those would be our market profile areas. Where are the market profile areas? Excellent question. Let's go find out. And to do that, we switch charts out here. And as we switch charts, you'll see that the Russell or the NQ, that's panel number two, that has that new profile that is attempting to form. That profile has formed below price. That is a bullish signal. That remains a bullish signal until price closes below the top of the profile. That would be support 16105. So there you've got your answer. You get it below 16008. You go to 16105. Wait a minute, Steve. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Exactly. Right now, it's the oscillator and change line that will become the target 16009. That could take price below the uh, top of that daily profile, but it hasn't formed yet. And we won't have the formation of that or the confirmation of the formation of that until this evening, just at about 601. So uh, that's what's going on inside the equity markets, folks. I would love to hear from you either by email or by voice at 877-927-6648. And Steve at TFNN.com. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. All the U.S. is in the green right now. Let's go uh, take a look at We've got four questions that have come in. So let's get to uh, those. The first one coming in from Marty. Marty writes in, and Marty says the following. Hey, Steve, what do you see on Hecla? I believe that is long and short term on the charts. Thank you. So as we take a look at the daily time frame for Hecla, we can see that price, Marty, is trading with inside its daily profile. The resistance level for it is 624. If price can close above 624, you're going to get an A to B equals CD to the upside, or you should get an A to B equals CD to the upside. That pattern has not unfolded yet, but what it could look like or should look like is the following. If price takes out that B point of that A to B equals CD, your price projection should be 679 to 710. Of course, you said short term, but I don't know what your short term means. But on a daily basis, you know you've got that battle at 624. Price is above the top of the weekly profile, so that's a positive, and price is consolidating with inside the monthly patterns. Let's go take a look at the other Hecla charts out here. If you were talking about a 30-minute time frame chart, price remains bullish and uh, is going to target the 608 level. A close above 608 would be a positive out here. That's what the 30-minute chart says. 65-minute chart, as we populate it, um, again, looks uh, bullish here with price above the top of the uh, profile. So, again, I don't know what your time frame is. If I look at a 195-minute time frame chart out here, heck, looks like it wants to head higher. Resistance is 618 to 624. So, really, we just get back to the daily time frame. On that daily time frame, so it, that, uh, it was a TD9 count that took price back to a TD9 breakout support level. Consolidating with inside the daily profile, your resistance is 624. Your support is at about the 589 level. So, Marty, I hope that helps you out with regard to what Hecla is doing, long term, short term, and all the time frames. If you need additional information, please feel free, feel free to write back to me, and I'll make sure that I get that to you. Hector and the fuel injectors, happy Magical Monday to you as well. Hector wants to take a look at PLD. So let's get the PLD on the screen out here. PLD is the Prologis Inc. 
It's trading above the top of its daily profile. That's at 145.95, above the top of the weekly, above the top of the monthly. So what we know about Prologis Inc., it is in bullish mode out here, unless we can find some type of top. And we're going to go take a look at that. But first, we've got to take a look at your archive webinars, our solid gold. Well, thank you, records as far as we are concerned. Should be an Investor Hall of Fame. Oh, thank you. PLD on a weekly, uh, so you're in the Magical Library this weekend, refreshing on some TD9 and ABCD videos. Okay, great. PLD on a weekly basis. Please work us some OUL support in resistance areas. So on the weekly specifically, let's pull this over here. PLD, let's answer his question. He's specifically asking about the weekly chart. And in that instance, he's asking where is the oscillator and change line support. That's at 142.57 as we speak right now. What we can see out here, Hector, is that uh, it has triggered a Rogemont indicator signal, but that need requires a bearish reversal candle in order to complete that pattern. Without that, price should continue to move higher. I say continue to move higher because you're above the oscillator and change line and the daily profile, the daily, uh, the weekly profile, which is at 130.37. Uh, so PLD on a weekly basis, please work up some OUL support and resistance areas. Now, resistance, that's a whole other scenario. Are we at all-time highs? I believe we are. Let me pull this back here on this monthly chart. We are. So you're at all-time highs. And on this type of chart here, even for the monthly time frame, uh, it becomes pretty difficult to figure out which is the proper A to B equals CD pattern. But let's just change this to a quarterly. I think it's just going to be the big one that pops up. Um, yeah. And so the big one out here, Hector, much like the question that you wrote in last last week, you know, it comes to A to B equals CDs and you get confused or what Stevie does when he gets confused is get rid of some of the noise. This is going to take me back to the low in October of 2008 as our A point. The B point is going to be the high from a January of 2020 and the C point is the low from January of 2020. And you can see right now the next price projection level here is at 150.88. You're at 147.34. Hector, I'm not saying ProLogic stops there. In fact, we would more likely say 175.64. It longer term, remember, I just changed this to a quarterly time frame uh, chart, but longer term. So you got 150.88 and then maybe 175.64 as price projection levels. From a resistance standpoint, we're above all resistance, so I don't have that. It's a matter of trying to find some type of pattern completion out here or some type of profile. And we just simply don't have that. So uh, with regard to I wish I could provide you with resistance. I can't with regard to counts out here. Let's do this on the daily on the weekly you're at bar number five, potentially and on the oh, the daily chart. OK, so here on the daily, you have a confirmed road momentum indicator top. Yep. All price did today is pull back and test and reject the top of that weekly uh, daily profile. And price is also just slightly above its green oscillator and change line. So its current condition here, Hector, is neutral. Resistance is the high from Friday. That is the only resistance you have out there. It confirmed a road momentum indicator top. It did that with the bearish engulfing candle. It engulfed the prior candle. I believe that Friday's high was the high of those two bars, and therefore that becomes your resistance level. If price can clear that, it may trigger another road momentum indicator signal, but that won't be confirmed until you get another bearish reversal candle out here. If price did close below 145.95, then your area of support would be the bottom of that bullish structure daily profile, 142.31 to 143.52. That was a mouthful, but hopefully that answered all of Hector and Patty's questions. And if not, Hector, please write back and we'll make sure that we get to that. Thanks for your kind notes as always and have a uh, marvelous, magical Monday. Our next question Coming in from uh, Michael P. And Michael wants to take a look at Mara. M-A-R-A -A is the uh, ticker symbol. We find my cursor, M-A-R-A. -A. And Michael's question goes on to say, you're holding Mara as an investment and riot for a trade. Mara hit new highs. How does the how does Riot look? Oh, okay. Well, here, first with regard to Mara, even though you didn't ask, it's in a nice A to B equals C to the upside. No bearish reversal candles. Its next price target is 79.27. Um <clears throat> Do I have Mara anywhere? I do not. Uh, M A R A. Let me get that on another set of charts out here. And we're going to go. We're going to give you a two for Mike. Uh, I think we're going to give you a two for because we might not have gotten one of yours yesterday or Friday. That is. As we take a look at Mara on a daily basis, this is only going to be bar number six. So that suggests higher price out here. And on the weekly time frame, uh, everything here looks hunky dory. Also bar number six. So M A R A looks like it wants to continue to pedal on higher out there. You wanted to really take a look at Riot R I O T. So let's pull that up on our screen out here. See what that is trading into, if anything, daily, weekly, or monthly. And as the daily populates, we see 
deep prices formed a brand new daily profile, the top of which is 29.47. You're well above that. That is a bullish signal. Prices above the top of the weekly profile, that is a bullish signal. Prices above the top of the monthly profile, that is a bullish signal. So you got bullish signals for all those time frames when it comes to riot. Let's take a look at the daily time frame out here. The daily time frame signals what? You've got an A to B equals C to the upside. Your resistance level inside of riot is going to be at 38.29. That is the TD9 breakdown resistance level. Doesn't mean you have to sell there. However, you said that this was a trade. And so if this is a trade, that is the resistance zone that you're going to deal with. If price can motor on through that, then you'd see a move to 44.10. What you really need to do as price is getting up to this area is look to the short-term time frame chart, such as a 30-minute, and see if there's some kind of topping signal. I don't show that right now, Mike, so there's no reason for you to jettison the position. However, on that daily time frame, you are running into that resistance zone of 38.29 out there. So simply just know that. Maybe that impacts your decision. On a weekly basis, as we mentioned, prices above the profile. Everything here looks uh, good. If price can clear the $40 area, specifically if price can get above, close above 4080, that would tell you about a run to 6155. But in the short term time frame, I'd expect a little turbulence at the 3829 area. And hope that helps you out, Mike. Thanks so much for writing in. And best of luck to you with Riot and Amara. Steve Rhodes with TFNA. We'll be back in just a few. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
welcome back, folks. Uh, we, let's go. Let's continue on with our questions. We got. Uh, oh, we got a couple more that have come in. This next one is coming in from. I don't know. I don't know the name, but uh, this is uh, this with regard to uh, Tesla. So we're going to look at Tesla. Steve, could you please give your analysis of Tesla? You're in a large position for March of 2020. You think that it looks like a possible top after the huge move it had over the last few weeks. But every time I think it might be topping and sell some, it ends up going much higher. I think you have time. Could you also look at uh, Autodesk, which looks like it got above a B point of an A to B equals C to the absolute. So with regard to Tesla, um, here's what we know. It formed a brand new profile last week, a daily profile, and that formed below price. Much like what we took a look at in the NQ, this new profile attempting to form below price, that is a bullish signal. That does not mean that price won't pull back to test support, which would be the top of that profile, 1, 1, 11, 14, 11. 1,114 and 11 cents out there. So that is really the level to be watching. If price closed below that, that would then be suggesting a further move lower. The weekly chart and the monthly chart, they both look good because price is also above their profile. So let's pull over Tesla's white background charts. And the question is, do we see some kind of topping pattern? And the answer to that question is we do not. So today's retracement and pullback has been nothing more than a test and so far a rejection of that oscillator and change line. You'll notice that the oscillator and change line is green. That tells us the price oscillator, the difference between the 39 and 19 period exponential moving average is above zero. When it's above zero, <clears throat> that's a bullish signal. When it's above zero and rising, that is a more bullish signal. When it's above zero and rising and above the top of a profile, that's even more bullish. Well, that's exactly what you have out here. So should you sell or does this have a top out here? Uh, the answer is I don't see it. Now, we can also make the bearish case out here. I want to make both of them. The bearish case is we can certainly find an A to B equals CD pattern. And today's gap to the downside is a bearish reversal candle. Wait a minute, steve -O, you just told me bullish, bullish, bullish. Yes, I did. But I'm looking at both sides of the trade out here for you. And even though you've got that bearish reversal candle that could or should confirm a sell the D point, what price did today was it got back and tested and rejected that oscillator and change line. So therefore, we'll call Tesla's, uh, Tesla's move at this stage here, put it more into a neutral position. But is it a sell position? The answer there is no, not on a daily time frame. On a weekly basis, what do we have out here? Not much. We've got a road's momentum indicator signal triggered. Price is uh, right now, it's just an inside bar. It's only one day for the week, uh, but that's not a, a big deal out here. So the weekly chart continues to look bullish for Tesla. The monthly chart for Tesla, what do we have here? Again, not much. Everything here looks bullish and suggests higher price. Intraday, short-term time frame trading, what do we have out here? Price on a 30-minute makes a TD9 count, road's momentum indicator top. Price pulls back, tests, and rejects its breakout level of 116509. Folks, the body of the candle is the essence of price. It doesn't matter what it did during the session. Where did it close? It closed back above it. Now what we see is an oscillator and change line that recently changed colors. Price and that line are going to test each other and then give us the results, which could be a test rejection. It says it moves back down to 1152. Take it out. It continues to move higher. I don't have really anything else on the intraday charts that is worth uh, really paying much attention to out here other than price just pulling back and testing support levels. So I hope that answered your question with regard to Tesla. You were asking specifically specifically whether or not it made a top i gave you that top that it did make but that support held and that uh, it's a it's still in a bullish mode out there so i hope that helps out with regard to tesla let's go take a look at autodesk adsk is the uh, ticker symbol let me type that in on these white background charts here get those going while we pull up the black background charts here on the black background charts we're going to see the daily weekly and monthly profile levels those are support and resistance what we know about autodesk is price is trading above the top of its daily bearish structured profile it did that two days ago Go. That is a bullish message. That is even signaling a potential very large A to B equals C to the upside. We're not going to paint that in because what price should do is go target its most recent all-time highs. Take us back. Well, I think it's our all-time highs, but it'll certainly take us back to the August, the week that began, August 23rd, and that highs in the 344.39 level. So that's what it looks like to me. And just take a look at our profile charts. 
uh, where price is headed to. In our white background charts, as we take a look at the daily time frame out here, we see no top in place. In fact, Friday was a close above TD9 breakdown resistance. That was 324. This is a bullish signal and adds to our conclusion that price should go retarget its recent high out there. On the weekly time frame chart, price looks bullish here. Looks like it should continue to move higher. No resistance in place as we speak. The monthly chart, everything is looking good here. Price is trained above the top of that profile, above its green oscillator and change line. So Autodesk looks like it wants to continue to run higher. I don't see any kind of a topping pattern out here. So I hope that helps you out. That was a twofer, both Autodesk and um, Tesla. That's right. See, uh, you can't get anything past Stevie. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, Yvonne writes in. And Yvonne writes, uh, good morning, Steve. Well, uh, good morning to you. Uh, time change, it, uh, you know, it does feel like morning. No, it feels like late in the evening. In any event out there, hey, I'm always a person that rises with the sun no matter what, no matter when I go to sleep. So, you know, it's kind of a catch-22 for me because now that sun is coming up pretty early. Uh, of course, nothing like, uh, you know, being in Nantucket where that sun can come up a mighty early out there. But in any event, that's not what Yvonne called about. Yvonne wanted to take a look at plug. P-L-U-G is the ticker symbol and fuel cell. So that's what we're going to do for her. And let's go find out uh, F-C-E-L. Going to get these charts here rolling in the background. Hopefully, why didn't it take? Uh, must be for a good reason. So it says, what stock is better for the long haul, plug or fuel cell? Hmm. Let's go see what each of them are, are, are communicating to us. Let's start. Oh, we've got plug up here on the screen. So as we take a look at plug, if price can close above 4094 today, you're at 4107. That's a bullish message because that would be taking out the uh, resistance level of its daily time frame. Price above resistance on the weekly and the monthly. So from that standpoint, uh, plug looks pretty good. Let's go see here. We'll go to the white background charts momentarily. But what is fuel cell doing in relationship to its profile levels? And as we take a look at fuel cell above the daily, above the weekly, and not above the monthly. So from a profile standpoint, plug looked better than a fuel cell. Fuel cell, though, its signal to us is that price should go target 1551. That is the top of the monthly profile. As we come back and take a look at the white background charts, now we look to see if there's any kind of tops out here. Whoop, there is. A TD9 count top in the case of plug. That formed a few days ago. That was on the trading day of November the 2nd. What happened since then? Price pulled back, tested. Uh, it's oscillator and change line. It's back above that and the top of the profile. Plug on a daily basis has just gone into a neutral signal. So long as price does close above 4094 today. If price is able to take out the high from November 2nd, that high is at 4295. It'll be off on its merry ways to the upside. On a weekly basis out here, what do we have? We don't have any kind of a topping signal there. On a monthly basis, no topping signal. So your work here inside of Plug, Yvonne, is on the daily time frame. But quite frankly, everything looks good, although the reality is what Stevie means is things are neutral. Things look good because you had the top and support is held, and now resistance is actually failing. But that's going to be more at the end of the day than it is at 1.38 in the afternoon. On the weekly chart, uh, yeah, there's nothing else really to cover here when it comes to plugs. So let's move over to fuel cell. Your question was which one looks better, you know, and that one may be a tough call out there. Of course, from a profile standpoint, we gave you the answer. Fuel cell on a daily basis. Let's do this, Yvonne. Let's finish this when we get back from this breakout here. You can see price is moving higher, doing less relative energy, no bearish reversal candle. Price above a breakdown resistance level, two breakdown resistance levels. This looks like it wants to continue on higher. We'll confirm that when we get back from this break. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727 
727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so we're taking a look at fuel cell for Yvonne. She's trying to make a decision which one looks better, plug or fuel cell. Yvonne, I've been providing you with the information. I've been keeping track of that information out here. So hopefully you'll be able to make that decision. But in the case of fuel cell, uh, things look uh, very positive here. And price is going to go target at least its next TD9 breakdown resistance area. Now, there's going to be two numbers that I give to you. So fuel cell is going to go or should target 1262. And if price can close above 1262, you're looking at 1370. And above 1370, then you're off to the races to the upside. But it does look like it should go target uh, at least that first level out here. The, that was coming from the daily chart. The weekly chart says, okay, Steve, well, hold on. Hold your horses. And you're in bar number nine of a TD9 count. But he got a bullish message as well because price is trying to take out the resistance zone, 1027. If Brad Friday price close below 1027, you've got a valid TD9 count, then Stevie will change his answer and say, plug, plug, plug is the one that looks a little bit better. In fact, we're going to say that right now. Plug looks better than fuel cell because on uh, plug on the weekly time frame, we don't have any such signal out here. So it doesn't mean it's going to uh, turn around and take uh, move to the downside, but you've got that caution signal. And that's the reason why we would then answer your question that plug is the one that looks better. The daily time frame looks pretty good on fuel cell, should continue higher. And don't forget that TD9 count pattern may not complete until sometime next week, if it does at all. So hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in and to have a, a magical Monday. Eddie writes in, and Eddie, Eddie Haskell that is, and uh, Eddie writes in, he says, uh, popping in late as usual. That would be a, that would be an Eddie Haskell type thing. Don't you remember? Wasn't the beef? That was a great show, right? Uh, yeah, uh, I liked it. In any event, uh, out here, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cleaver, right? Uh, if you did not already, can you discuss the German DAX and NQ relationship for today? Uh, well, let's see here. So the DAX, the relationship, uh, I don't know if I've got that up or not. Probably don't. But let me just take a quick peek here. <laughs> I don't. So let me see if Stevie can open that. We, we do like to answer questions when we can. And uh, what uh, Eddie is in, you have fuel. Yeah, I know I've got fuel cell up. Thank you. I'm, just, I'm trying to find a different chart out here. Uh, so let's take a look at our correlation between two different instruments. 
as soon as I can find it, I'm on a different page, so just bear with me out here. There's that one, and there's this one. I think it's this one that I want. So I believe what's going to pop up on our screen here momentarily is the DAX up at the top, and at the bottom is the correlation. It's a 10-day correlation between the DAX and the NASDAQ. So the DAX generated a TD9 count top pattern out here, and it did it on this trading day. This was on uh, November the 4th. Forget about where it says key support. That's not correct. What you can see out here. So here's what I, the first thing. Let me, let me get rid of that. Somebody's going to likely use that in the wrong way, and I don't want that to happen. So we're just going to get rid of that text. There we go. Okay. So at 16064, this is the DAX price in US dollars. If price were to close above that, that would negate that pattern, Eddie, and that would suggest that we have a strong upward momentum move underway. Here, the bars that are above zero show us about the directional correlation between the two. So with regard to understanding the relationship, the relationship is just simply that there is a directional correlation that we should be aware of. It was the DAX that produced the TD9 count, the completed TD9 count pattern first. And so knowing that, and knowing that the NQ was also, so let me do this here, uh, do, 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 not there, here, NQ 1221. So I'm going to pull over just to put it up the, uh, the chart here. So the DAX was forming its TD9 count pattern before, because the TD9 count won't confirm inside the DAX, um, inside the uh, NQ until today. But knowing about that directional correlation out here, uh, Eddie, on uh, Thursday or on Friday, we said, hey, we've got to watch that close. If there's a close above 16.064.79, odds favor that the TD9 count top, we're looking at the NQ, will not uh, have a significant uh, topping um, signal for us. But now, take a look at the DAX, and the DAX has not busted through that resistance level, just waiting perhaps for the NQ to complete that TD9 count pattern, which will you know, complete today. Remember, tomorrow can be a spike above the high of the pattern and it'll still keep it in place. But in essence, that in essence is what we're looking at. So I had not already. And I hope that helps to answer your question with regard to the relationship between the NQ and the uh, DAX out there. You did have another question. That other question was if we could take a look at PayPal. PY, PYPL is a ticker symbol and we absolutely can. So let's go take a look at it. Give me a moment here. It's a three time frame charts out here. PYPL, by the way, for you home gamers. And uh, right now, PayPal is trading with inside a brand new profile that formed on Friday. And so your support level out here, a key level of support for you, Eddie, is going to be down at 227.49. Um, you can see a weekly A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, no bullish reversal signal. You'd like to see that because that would give you a nice Gartley buy pattern. Let's pull over the white background charts out here. And on the weekly basis, we're also seeing that price may be targeted. It's only bar number seven. Uh, this week should become bar number eight, but we need to see a lower low out here. So you got a couple different patterns. The one that I like the best on a weekly basis for PayPal, at least for an entry into it, would be some type of Gartley buy pattern. That's going to require a bullish reversal candle. Back to the daily chart out here. The daily chart, what we're looking for, is there any kind of a bottom pattern? And the answer is there is not. So even though you've got price above that profile that formed a couple of days ago, its oscillator and change line is acting as resistance. No warm and fuzzies here. You are long PayPal. Um, that's fine. Just expect and anticipate that it may be targeting the 193.92 level, the weekly TD9 breakout area. On a monthly basis out here, price is below uh, its uh, bottom of its profile, but 223.09 is its breakout area. So, you know, Eddie, I think that's the level I would be watching for, the 223.09. If price can hold this area, that's a small positive. If price breaks through that area, then you want to prepare for that move down to that 193 area. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks for tuning in. When you did, we don't care whether you're on time or not. Uh, we just like when Eddie Haskell is a part of the uh, Trader's Edge show. So thanks so much for writing in. Hey, now this is a treat. Two days in a row, we've got Garo from California. Garo, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. How about you, sir? Excellent. Did you have a nice weekend? Very good. Yes, absolutely. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, QuantumScape, QS is the ticker symbol. That's what you're calling about. Trade out at 3794. Uh, tell us what you're doing and how I could best help you. Uh, today, it, uh, the daily chart passes the, uh, the, the, the uh, simple moving average at 200 day, which was 32.99, 32 and that was my buying point. 
And now uh, on a weekly, uh, there is a there, uh, there is a 50 day move, 50 day simple moving average. There is a resistance there. Today it crossed that 38. Uh, 38.46, but now it's hovering there. It pulled back. Uh, the high was 38.68, but it's not crossing that 38.46. Uh, you think this is going to be a pullback or it is going to go higher? Okay, so let's try to answer that question here. And uh, right now you've got a big wide-ranging bar and a brand new profile that uh, has formed today, Garo. And the top of yes. that profile is 31.98. It was bearish in structure. You've got a bullish message here. So this is suggesting to me that price wants to move higher, price above the resistance level of its weekly profile. So that suggests to move higher. We're about to go to a hard break here. So I'm going to ask you to hold on because we're going to come back to you, uh, Garo, yes, and finish sir. off the uh, yes, chart. Sir. Um, 38.14 is a resistance level, and we'll take a look at that when we get back from this break. Steve Rhodes with Garo in California. Take a look at ticker symbol QS. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in st petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First mortgage? The Tiger First mortgage program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First mortgage program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Garo in uh, California. And so, Garo, the, so the resistance level that I have, 
that price hit yeah. earlier in the day was 38.14. It got above that, granted, but 38.14 is a TD9 breakdown level. If price can close above that, then that would suggest a move up to the next breakdown area, and that's at 48.45. Today is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. We know that the highs can form bars eight, nine, or bar following nine. So there could be, today could be a top or it could occur over the next couple of days out here. Typically, when we get to a, a top on a daily time frame, we see short-term topping signals, like on a 15-minute chart, such as this TD9 count top, which did form. But price pulled back and tested that green oscillator and change line. So its current signal, even on a 15-minute basis, is neutral. And it's not a uh, indication yet if price wants to do that uh, pullback. The 30-minute chart also had a TD9 count top, so it helps us understand that level. If we were to see price close above 38.68, Garo, that tells us about a strong momentum move to the upside out here. So I can certainly make the case that price should pull back, but there's nothing here to say that the move is over. Does that make sense? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I was I was afraid of that part. 38.68, I was, I was afraid of that part. Um, I'm going to get out of it and I'm going to wait until that passes 3868, and then then I'm going to get in again. Yeah. And, and but, you know what? I, I love that. I, I love that. That's clear. It's articulate. I understand exactly the reason why, and it makes all the sense in the world, and I love you for that. Thank you, sir. Thank you so you, much. The other one bet. that I'm, going, I'm looking for, there are two more for, for your listeners. One is Meta, M-E-T-A, and the other one is E-V-G-O. EV go. So I'm looking at these three uh, very, very sharply. I do thank you very much. I call you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. That sounds great. That sounds great. That was Garo in California. Folks, we're at the end of our time, but uh, there is more time left. We've got two great hours. Your favorite polar bear, David White with the Power Trading Hour, and then Tom O'Brien. He'll take us on home. I'll be back with you on Terrific Tuesday. Have a marvelous Monday, folks. Thanks so much for being here. Be safe out there. We'll see you soon.